Hi there friends, um, getting ready for another plan with me. As you can tell, I'm sure about the title and everything. Um, I thought about doing a mock spread, but I decided against that. I just decided to do um, a spread in my Erin Condren because I was really excited about this kit that I picked out to use this week. Um, I This is like how everything was set up before I even started filming, so I'm just kind of like moving things out of the way, you know, trying to get situated here. And I am still a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling a lot better, but I know I still sound kind of terrible. So um, I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. Thanks for bearing with me. I do appreciate that. Um, this week, let's see, maybe I can zoom in just a little bit more, maybe. Because I know sometimes when I'm editing, I feel like I'm just so far away from the screen. You know, it just seems like I'm really far away. I think that's fine. Because I don't want to be too tight because I want you to be able to see everything. Anyway, as I'm sure you can tell, we are planning for the week of... Um, May 30th through June 5th. I always love weeks that um, are transition from one month to the next because um, I love being able to blend the colors of both of them, both the two months in my spread. So um, unfortunately that's something I'm gonna lose when I move to the neutral planner next year, but at the same time I can use whatever colors I want. So I'm excited. Um, I'm using the, uh, what was it called? I just pulled it up. I'm using the Summer Succulents kit from Gingerly Done, and she is redoing her kits, so they are gonna have um, like a complete no white space spread, but right now it has most everything. It has the full boxes, ombre heart checklists, um, this is some washi strips that are the same as the full boxes, headers, little things, this like kind of miscellaneous sheet, whatever you call that, and half boxes. But one thing you might notice I did not mention was bottom washi. So I get to pick from actual washi. So I got out my huge things of washi tape. I know I want to use this um, succulent or cacti washi from Paper Source, but it doesn't super duper match. So I'm going to add another one with it. I don't know if I'm going to use the pink, the green, or this like pinky purple. Let's look at them all like with the kit and see, see what look we like the best. I think I'm gonna put the succulents on the bottom because they're not really the same style and then like one of the other ones between. This is a little, this is really pretty but it's a little bit dark, I think. Um, I could do the green. That's a little bit like, I don't know. That's not bad. It's a little, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, Maybe the pink, just kind of tie it all in. This is a very pink kit, and this is kind of like a peachy pink almost, but that kind of, there is some of that in some of these stickers. So yeah, we'll do this this combo. Okay, gosh, it's been a long time since I've gotten to use actual washi tape. I used to always, um, whenever I was planning, I would get out all of my stickers and all of my washi tape, and now I have so many stickers and so much washi tape that's like impossible to do. Um, but I used to love, I don't know, I used to love getting all my stuff out and choosing the washi tape for the bottom and choosing um, the kit I was gonna use and everything. That is super crooked on the end. I'm gonna rip that off too. Okay. I didn't want a super, super bright Pink, and you are gonna be able to see the lines through this, but that's that's okay. Um, I didn't want a super like dark or bright pink because um, I didn't want it to like compete with the spread. Because sometimes I've picked like really gorgeous washi, but um, I'm gonna do the thing and cut it with my Erin Condren ruler or tear it. Um, that's a lot better. Yeah, I didn't want it to compete with the spread, and I I I don't know. I just wanted something that was just kind of like a little bit subtle at the bottom. I think this will look just fine. Hope you can see this okay. I know I zoomed in kind of a lot. I'm still trying to figure everything out. Like I said, I'm, I'm not new to YouTube. Um, actually, I made my first YouTube video about six years ago. I just recently came up on my time hop. Um, it was like after I, shortly after I graduated from college. But, um, those were all face-to-face -face videos, in which I'm sure eventually I'll make some on this channel too. I, I definitely anticipate that happening. But um, yeah, this is just completely different. 
than face-to-face -face videos. So, I've never used this paper source washi before. This is different. Um, oh well, my god, I need an in-between one. I don't have to put it down the very bottom. I'll be fine. I'm sure you can see my head, I'm really sorry. I'm like super concentrating in this washi straight. Sorry guys, I'm not doing much talking. Gosh, these are so cute. I got this washi to use um, when I made my terrarium this spring, which actually never happened. So maybe I'll do that this summer. But cause I still, I have like the container. I just never got plants and stuff. And plus like I have, I'm like terrible with plants. I have like a black thumb. Also, I mostly just got this washi because I love like succulents and stuff and I think they're super cute because they're like small and I don't know. I don't know why I like succulents so much. I just think they're pretty cool. That didn't tear super straight. I don't think I'm gonna be super concerned. Nah, we'll deal with it. If it bothers me, I'll fix it later. So, okay, so there's the bottom of our spread. All right, so I think this time I'm going to start from the top, um, which if you watched last week, if we can flip back to where last week was, wow. Um, it's all the, the full boxes, and that's what I always do, because I'm real boring. So, okay, let's look at the full boxes. These are the full boxes, right? It's tough, like, because the washi looks exactly like the full boxes, which is cool when you're doing a spread, because you can match it up really well, but sometimes I'm, like, going to get a full box, and it's not, so. Um, but it's neat how she does that. So, okay, so let's see, which ones are different? Um, they're all different. That's the thing. So, okay, which one do I want to put up there? Hmm. Let's see. These two kind of both look like aloe, sort of, that similar kind of plant. Um, these two are kind of the same colors. You can't see. These two are kind of this, like similar colors. So those should all be in just regular spread. Um, hmm. I think I'll do this one in the top corner because it's kind of a complete succulent and it's pretty. So we'll start there. I kind of also changed my filming setup a little bit so it feels a little bit different. Let me scoot a little bit closer. Um, again, I'm still still getting used to everything, still trying to figure out um, how I want everything set up. Is that sort of straight? Did I not put it up all the way at the top? Because it feels like it's down pretty low. No. It's just weird because every shop does it does their stickers a little bit differently, which is cool, but it kind of makes it difficult when I'm like, you know, used to seeing a certain amount of space between the full box and this little flag, and it's not there, and I'm like, why isn't it there? I don't know. Um, okay, so we were talking about, or I was we were discussing, you know, you were here discussing with me. These two are similar and these two are similar. Um, hmm. So maybe I could put that one at the middle because it's like kind of a really close up of a succulent, um, which the middle is Thursday. I always think of that because, um, I, I mean, the middle of the week is technically Wednesday, but in your Erin Condren, Thursday is the middle. Um, at least that's how I do it. So, okay, let's start with that. Let's start by putting... Um, that really green one on Thursday can be the middle. Okay. I think that's straight. That is, we're going to call it straight enough, even if it's not super straight. I can't really tell. It looks straight enough to me, so it's fine. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. Okay. I think I'm going to do the purpley ones next, like on either side. So, um, since these two are the, are the more similar, like these two are more similar than these two, I think I'm going to put this one here. Does that make any sense? I mean, that's just, or do I want to put these next? Like on either side, maybe, because those are, 
different. Hold on, let me think about this for a second. Okay, I know what I wanna do. Let's see. So, I know it doesn't really matter which order I put these in to me. I chose this kit for this week because I felt like it had a lot of like blues and pinks and I thought it would match like kind of both um, months pretty well because of the different colors. So I'm really, for some reason today, I'm like not looking up at the screen a whole lot, which I know, I mean, obviously you can't tell, but so if things are like out of frame a lot, then it's because I'm just like kind of doing my own planning thing and kind of forgetting that you guys are there. Um, which I guess is good. It means I'm like getting more comfortable doing this, but not good because y'all kind of want to see, right? Okay, so yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's do, I should have done my like type rather than color because then these two are a little bit similar and they're gonna be next to each other. But then it's also, hmm. No, I think this is less similar to that. This is really not this serious, you guys. I'm like, oh, where do I put my, which succulent goes where? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this one on this end. And like, I'm not even gonna notice, like I'm never going to be like looking at my spread during the week saying like, oh my God, those succulents are totally in the wrong order. Like that's never gonna, that thought's never gonna like cross my mind. So it's fine. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned, but all of her, um, all of her stickers are matte removable. So um, she used to do glossy, now she just does matte. But okay, so now we just have Wednesday and Friday. So which one's which? Doesn't really matter. Um, since this since this one's on this page, I think I'm gonna put this one here. I know my logic's like super weird, but like I mean, how, do, how else do you decide like where to put stickers? Like sometimes I just go in the order that they're on there because some usually like the shops try and kind of um, vary it up. Like they don't often put like, you know, the same style sticker. Like if they have something like this, they kind of make it, you know, kind of a varied pattern anyway. Sorry, I'm not like showing you guys I'm taking these off, but not like, I don't think it's the most important. But I'm super rambly today because I worked at home. I don't usually work at home on Fridays. That's kind of crooked, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I think hers are removable. Now we're going to find out. Oh yeah. Oops. That was bad. Good thing I'm a no white space planner, guys. Um, anyway, I worked at home. I don't usually on Fridays, but I did today. And, um, so I haven't talked to like anybody all day. Um, in person, like I've messaged people at work and texted friends and my parents and stuff, but um, so I'm probably gonna be extra chatty, you know, as if my videos aren't already long enough. Okay, now I'm looking in the monitor or whatever that screen that shows me what you guys are seeing. And I like it, it's happy. Um, that kind of looks like a vagina a little bit, but um, we'll put stickers over that so I won't even notice. One sticker sheet down, goes in the trash pile. Okay, now I think I'm going to, let me get up my stickers here so we can look at them together. Um, I'm going to do ombre heart checklist. And I mean, I'll just go every other one. Um, do, do, do. I'll start with, I'll start with a blue. And then I think I'm just going to do like the headers at the very end, not the very end, but later. So blue. Yeah, I'm on a different little table. Um, I have like my white background down, but um, the other one was just so shaky. Like I was trying to, like I was writing on my planner for like my monthly spread, um, which I didn't film, sorry. Um, I was writing my planner for that and I was on that little table that I've been filming on. And like this one's a little bit shaky, but the, I mean, I could barely even write on it because it was just so shaky and I was like, no. Absolutely not, but this is like the best lighting, which I know there's still some shadows, but um, my apartment's pretty small, so there's not a lot of like really good places to film. So, 
that's crooked too, but you know, we're not even gonna, we already had a, an incident, so. Which, see, you won't ever be able to tell there was an issue there. Um, that's a good thing about being a no white space planner. I think that's the first time I did, like, the first time I ever did a, um, no white space spread was because I just had royally effed up a page in my Erin Condren, and, um, I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna try no white space planning, and I never really went back, so, um, because I love the look of it so much, which I know people say, like, you know, you spend this much on a planner and then you don't even get to see it. But I mean, it's like a template, you know? Like, Erin Connor's shown me, like, how to plan out my week. And I just cover it up with stickers. Um, and I don't know. I, I mean, people say that, like, no white space planning, um, like, looks too busy. Like, they couldn't, you know, follow it for their week. But honestly, I think a lot of no white space planning spreads look cleaner to me than when people just like pile stickers on a white space spread. I mean, you know, again, to each their own. Like to the to me, like when I do a spread, like it makes more sense to me sometimes than when I watch someone on YouTube do it. So I have one ombre heart checklist left, which again, I don't have a lot of sidebar stuff, I don't think. So this will definitely go in the sidebar. And then I have a little um, three heart checklist, which are great, I probably won't use. Um, so now, yeah, now I have to start at the bottom, which is fine. We'll, um, find those little things. And I think I'm going to start with the pink, since I started with blue on the ombre heart checklists. Yeah, meals. Uh, do I want to do a meal on Monday? I was going to say Monday through Friday. But Monday's Memorial Day. Um, I guess I will. I don't know what I'm doing that day, but, um... Because today is Friday the whatever, Friday. I keep flipping back and forth, sorry guys. Friday the 27th. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll put meals down. Got the meals down. Um, next, of course, the chores, my um, daily chore. And like I said last week, um, I I kind of put down whatever because a lot of, like you can tell there's nothing on here that's gonna be for my um, cleaning. Like I could do something on the sidebar, but I like to do it on my little things, like on my day. Um, but I put whatever kind of icon down because I know that the second thing up is for cleaning. And I don't like to color block the little things. So I'm gonna do, you know, the opposite color. And I'm gonna do like the alarm clocks and the hearts probably, just kind of alternate those. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Cause I, I'm, I'm not gonna use those for anything else. And again, I'll know, it's kind of, it probably, you know, kind of looks silly but I always know that that second thing is um, cleaning. Okay, so it looks like I just have TV shows on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so I guess we'll just go with that. Um, so okay, Thursday, yeah, we'll do um, there's two on, um, one's Amy Schumer, whoops, these are like really tiny little things, um, it's not super straight, but we'll deal, and the other one's Archer, which might be the season finale of Archer, I think that's what it said, because I just watched the one from last night, because it's Friday, like I said, when I'm recording this, I think this was the season finale, but I could be wrong. Um, feels like it just feels like the season just started. Like I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. So okay, um, it looks like there's a Beyond the Tank on on Friday, and not a Shark Tank. Is that real life? Oh well. If it's wrong, we'll just steal. And my cat from hell is new on. Saturday. Sorry, it was my phone. Um, all right. Oh, 
Okay. Works for me. Um, still have a lot of little things. There's a good amount of TVs. That's good. Normally I would need that many, like, you know, during the year when all my shows are on. Um, credit cards I probably never use because I use my Bill Do stickers. Alarms, I don't know why I'd use. Um, she has plenty of food stickers, which are nice. So, yep, I'm not going to use any more of those, but I will need those headers once I'm done here. Um, let's see. So now let's go in and um, fill in some space in the bottom. Since I have so few little things, I might go ahead and I have a ton of half boxes. So um, I might go ahead and do um, like a mix of washi and half boxes at the bottom. And I mean, it's not hard to pick which washi to use since they all match. So I think I will go with matching um, just to make it easier. I know it's not everyone's fave, but that's what I'll do. Because again, it's not going to be, it's not going to be like two solid boxes. It's going to be a mix, so. Okay, um, I guess I'll do headers next. And then, and then we'll go from there. So, I think the headers are all, yeah, every, each header is one color. So, um, today at the top, because that's my all day section. It's funny, like the main colors in this spread are, or in the kit are like pink and blue. This kind of turned into more of like a pink and green, didn't it? But, oh well. I can't wait until I get my new planner, which I haven't even ordered yet. I'm just thinking about it because it's June 1st. So I'm like putting down stickers and it's like, this huge indent here from like where there have been months and months of like like I can feel the like where all the header stickers have been right here and then it's like it goes down so much right here because um, I've been using this planner since last July so which not not I haven't been using it non-stop like I did use some so much crafting inserts for a while but um, there's still a lot of spreads in here and I've gone back and I kind of like played around in some of the months I missed so there's still like complete no white space spreads in those two so I'm just I'm still looking for the new planner I'm looking forward to the to the neutral color scheme I think it'll be really fun to plan because um, I feel like that you know you take so many more liberties when you don't have to worry about matching colors which I mean I don't always you know worry about matching colors I'm more concerned with like um, like doing seasonal stuff rather than 
you know, necessarily matching the colors exactly, but I do go by that. Like if I, like this kit, honestly, like I picked it because of the colors. I mean, also it's, you know, I, I think it's super cute, but that's why I chose to do it this week because of these colors. I might've done a different, like kind of springy summery kit. Now it's to do headers. Um, if I didn't have to worry about colors, which again, I cover it all up anyway, so it doesn't really matter, which is why I'm, you know, not, not too bothered about the neutral because I mean, the reason I'm going with the neutral, I don't know if I've mentioned this, um, for my next year's Erin Condren is, um, I obviously am a no white space planner as I cover up every inch of this, of this planner. Um, and it really, first of all, I mean, the colors aren't great, but I would deal with the colors, but my deal breaker is um, it has like a watercolor effect at the top that bleeds down in between the boxes. So um, in some spreads, that would look really cool. In others, it would like mess everything up. Like, I don't know, like I can't even picture what color it would be because the colors are completely different. Um, but like, I don't, I don't know. It would just have to be like a certain kind of spread that would look good in. And I think like if you were a white space planner and you, you know, like that extra bit of, of color that the Erin Condren gives you, then I think, you know, you might love that planner. But so far, like all the no white space planners I've heard are like, mm, no, little things headers now. Um, they're like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the neutral because that way we can, first of all, it's a super clean look. It looks a little bit more, can you see okay? Um, it looks a little bit more like sophisticated sort of on trend. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I just, I like the look of the neutral a lot. Like I never thought I'd go for a neutral planner, but um, I'm really, really excited to order mine. I'm gonna order both. Um, I mean, I don't anticipate changing my mind, but I could. But I'm really ordering both just because um, I want to see what the colors are. Because um, since I do have an Etsy shop, I want to make sure that um, my stickers will work in both planners if possible. Like, I, I do a lot of like multicolor things, and um, I don't want to have things that only match the, um, like, only match, like, the 2016 ones, not the new ones that are coming out, which, um, to be fair, my color scheme now, um, I got from, um, like a combination, it's like a combination of colors from the Erin Condren Vertical and like the horizontal and hourly colors. So it's in, and the horizontal and hourly colors are a lot like the new planners colors. So, um, you know, so you should be fine even if you order now, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see the new planner. So that's, oh, there's a sticker stuck underneath this. That's okay. Um, that's maybe all I'll use on this sheet. Maybe I'll use some of these. We'll see. Okay. So what all do we have left for the sidebar? Again, hashtag sidebar sweats. So, well, I definitely need to put down the weekend banner. I'll go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. I don't want to forget, um, which hers are easy to put down because first of all, it's straight across the top. And the K is in the middle. So these headers were straight to be perfect. Um, okay, so let's see, what can we use for the sidebar? I have some stuff on here and the icons I love. Um, some stuff on here I can use, something like these and these maybe. I'm not date, I mean obviously not date night, I'm forever alone. Um, to do, I won't use bill do. Um, I wouldn't use movie night on the sidebar. I have still a million half boxes, that'll help. I have a checklist, I have headers, and I have washi. Um, let's think, what do we wanna do? I, okay, I think, this is a mess, isn't it? This is looking like <laughs> struggles. Okay, um, I think maybe I'll put these two green ones on the very bottom here, just um, since they're next to, which, oh, let's, let's flip this over. Let's get, get down to business here. Um, yes, yeah, so they're next to this. I don't want to be too busy or like compete with that too much. So I know this table kind of squeaks. Sorry, it makes a weird noise. Okay. Um. 
Um, hmm. I consolidated things too much and now I can't even see what I have. Um, okay. Let's see. Maybe I'll put down my, my checklist here closer to the bottom. So it's kind of even with the, with the top. I'm gonna stick. This is over a little bit far to cover that um, bit of color on the bottom. So I know if I keep lining up, it's not gonna line up with the top. So I'm gonna sneak that over just a little bit. Just cheat it just a hair so it'll line up a little bit better. Just like going forward. There. Yeah, that's fine. Cause that, I mean, I won't, I won't ever notice. I didn't even notice it you know, this past week where my sidebar was the most crooked. Um, cause I never use it. So yeah. So let's see, what do I, do I want to put a header on it? That might be good. Um, let's see next week, this week, cleaning work, personal dinners, exercises and errands. Errands might be good. Pixie's coming. I hope she didn't jump up here. She might though. She likes to. She likes to see what's going on. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. Um. Oh, yep. Here we go. <laughs> Here's Pixie. She's gonna break this thing. I kind of wish there was some solid washi for the very top. Maybe I'll put in one of these like label. Kind of, yeah, I'll put in the pink one. Let's do that. Or should I do something? Yeah, I'll do that because I'll look the best since it's like even. Because I don't want to put pattern washi underneath um, underneath this. Yeah, oh yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, now I have the rest of a sidebar to fill. Uh, I guess I should start buying like sidebar stickers maybe, but um, you yeah, know, that's just, that has never happened. So um, I think I'll put down these two and then a half box. Is that, are we, are we lined up now? Just about. These are probably all gonna be like slightly off. Or should I start from the top? I don't know. No, I think we're good. I think I might. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to use a blue half box because I've used a zero of them. Um, so what else can I put above it? Hmm. I think I'll put these two above it. Let's see, I always have to measure out just how far it's gonna go. So it's gonna be like to here, right? Yeah, like that space. Sorry, you can probably hear Pixie. Okay, and then I'll put another one of these up here. And let's see, I could put my to-do box. I don't know. I might need to put another piece of washi between those two. Let's see. Oh, a tiny piece. Okay. I will. I'll put this one up there, and that will work. Uh, 
Okay, we have a sidebar. Um, let's see, I think that's probably all I'm gonna use from the kit. So let's look at the spread. This is gonna be real fun to edit because this has been almost an hour. Um, okay, so what all do we have left? We have a bunch of half boxes, which are great. I can always use half boxes. Um, I'm gonna pitch this sheet because I'm never gonna use those checklists. But it's nice to have, I guess, three hour checklists. Trash pile. <clears throat> Some leftover washi, which goes this way, which I'll keep for now. Um, but I'll probably end up pitching eventually. This sheet, I might use some icons, I might use these in the future. I'm not gonna use any today, I don't think, but I still have to kind of finish it up. And um, and um, the remaining little things and headers, which I already know I'm not gonna use, so I'll go ahead and throw this out. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, I'm going to let it rest, um, and I am going to um, finish kind of filling out the spread with other stickers I have, and I'll come back and we'll go over it together. Okay, I'm back with my, um, I don't want to say finished week because it's obviously not finished. It won't be finished until the end of the day next Sunday. So, um, but I've clearly marked a lot of stuff down in my planner. Um, I'm feeling really good about the spread. Like just looking at it makes me feel really happy. So it's always nice. I use this um, green Paper Mate Ink Joy. I don't know why, like you guys have all seen these. They come in that big pack. I love these. Um, this turned out, I wasn't sure if I should use pink or blue or green, um, but I actually like the way the dark green looks with this because it's not harsh like a black, but it's still dark, so I can write on even like these darker colors here. Um, I went ahead and, you know, like I said, wrote some stuff in, wrote down my chores for the day so I don't have to do the thing like last week where I didn't fill it out then, and then um, I didn't fill it out when I was doing my planner on Friday, so it, uh, it didn't really get filled out. So anyway, um, let's talk about some of the stickers I used just really quickly. Um, I did finish up another sheet I want to show you before I threw it in the trash pile. I finished up my May holidays from my shop, Kate and Caboodle. Memorial Day is the last holiday in May. So I can throw that onto the trash pile here. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and I used a bunch more of the half boxes or several more, but I still have some left. So if I need to stick some more in, um, that'll be that'll be fine and um i use some of the icons here i didn't use all of them because some of them i really do prefer like these lily henry rainbow icons um i use some of these and i mean some of them I use in the sidebar but some of them i use kind of in the spread or tried or yeah a couple of them i used in the spread um i use any more washi I'll just stick these all, I stick these in the back of my planner for the week in case I wanna add anything else to it. I usually don't end up adding a ton of stickers during the week. Um, usually like this time is when I add more stickers. Like um, I was just going through and adding some stuff to um, this past week or this week actually, cause this is today. I was going through and adding some stuff here too. So that's usually, usually it's like Friday night when I have all my stuff out, that's when I add stuff. Um, Let's see, I use my Lily Henry telephones to mark calling my grandparents on Sunday. I use my super well-loved Lily Henry, um, I don't know what you call it, grocery shopping, grocery bag icons to mark grocery shopping on Sunday. Um, oh, I tried to use one of these um, Miss Lenny Boulevard um, scallop things, but that didn't work out, so I'll stick that back in my, <laughs> my sticker book. Um, I was trying to find a way to layer donut day because this pink on top of the pink sticker didn't work out very well. Um, used a scale for my weigh-in on Sunday. I'm running low on pink. You can tell them what my favorite colors are. Um, I used a couple of washing machines um, for Wednesday and Saturday. And um, I haven't even, I don't feel like I've had this sheet that long. I'm sure I have. Um, I feel like this is a fairly new sheet to me. Um, but it's still super well loved. But, um, I use my second ever planner plus wine equals heaven because that's my Friday night. So put that down there. I put down an iced coffee for Friday, um, which I, I always put down a coffee for Friday because Friday is my like special coffee day. Um, put down a payday icon or payday sticker from my shop on Friday because I get paid next Friday. Put down a bill due. Um, you can tell this is again well loved sheet. 
um, for rent being due on the first. Let's see, put down a work at home sticker for my work at home day on Wednesday. Um, let's see, put down a day off sticker for Memorial Day on Monday. And I think, let's, let me look through, see. Um, oh, I didn't tell you about donut days just from the June holidays. I've already put those back. Other than that, that takes care of everything. So yeah, this is my, my spread. If you want to keep up with um, how it's coming along, follow me on Instagram at Kate and Caboodle. And thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!